Well, hello again, everybody. You have to forgive the background noise. I'm under a metal roof and um, a lot of fat raindrops falling. Just another rainy day here in the state of Virginia. Yeah, I guess you can tell I got a little bit of bad hair day going on, a little bit of humidity. I was out working on the chicken coop when it started raining and got a little damp, a little, a little fuzzier than normal. But anyway, we didn't come here to talk about my beard. We came today to talk about um, really just the state of the world, you know, that we've we found ourselves in and hey, maybe we've even helped create it. Um, it really struck me recently, an acquaintance uh, that I have um, through the internet, I read um, some of his, uh, I don't know if you call it a blog or a devotion. It may be a, a, a combination of the two. His name's Marty Stubblefield. And, um, you know, I'll just read you his quote and kind of go from there. <clears throat> or I, I'm quoting him. Part of his uh, daily devotion said, We live in a world today that has blended light and dark into some type of gray, causing us even Christ followers to become numb to it. Things that should turn our stomach are suddenly funny or harmless. Things that should be said or done are left unsaid or undone because they may be considered hateful, offensive, or politically incorrect. Now that wasn't his whole devotion. That was just a, a quote uh, from part of it. But thank you, Marty, if you ever see this. I appreciate you sharing that little challenge with me because it really made me start thinking. Um, and I just kind of had to break it down. Um, you know, I, I like to ponder on uh, the state of our world and my responsibility in it, my responsibility in the world that surrounds me because, you know, um, all of us together collectively are surrounded by uh, what we see as our day-to-day -day world, and all of that kind of works together to form the bigger world, the greater world. So in essence, you know, what we allow to slide or get by in our day-to-day -day is what ultimately um, determines what our overall environment and our country and our world is going to be like. So, you know, I'll just start off uh, addressing what his opening statement in that quote is, you know, um, we live in a world today that has blended light and dark into some type of gray. So, you know, that's just wrong. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And for us to allow um, our mentality to, um, I guess, be coerced or forced into accepting maybe um, some things that we viewed as wrong or know to be wrong, especially we feel it in our spirit to be wrong, allowing those to exist and saying, well, you know, to each their own, maybe it's okay, maybe I'm wrong, or maybe I just don't want to address it. Uh, you know, it gets into a state of being gray. And, um, you know, it talks about, um, in that quote, he said, we can become numb uh, to some of the, the wrong issues. I mean, I know that to be true because if it weren't so, our country wouldn't have, or our country and our world wouldn't have such an issue with, um, you know, kidnapping, child sex trafficking, um, modern day slavery in a lot of cases, um, and a lot of things that are just heinous uh, wouldn't exist if more people um, that were on the periphery of it did kind of stand up to it. Um, you know, things that are, are left said or should be done are often left unsaid and undone, he said. You know, I think we're all guilty of that sometimes. Um, if we see something that's not quite right, um, we tend to say, well, I'm going to mind my own business. And, you know, sometimes that's the right thing, but, um, sometimes it's not. And if you know something to be wrong and you're feeling convicted of it, I mean, that's the time to speak up. Um, 
And I can tell you nine times out of 10, there's a whole lot of like-minded people there that are just waiting for somebody else to speak up and then they'll join right in and have your back. But you know, it, it really convicted me because I realized that, uh, and I've been saying this for years, but uh, you know, uh, maybe I've kind of lost focus on it and got a little bit of gray area myself in my life. This world has a real shortage. There's a pandemic that's been going on for years. There's a shortage of real men and real women. Um, no gray area, folks. Just real men and real women. And if we had a whole lot more people willing to um, stand up for what's right and wrong, including myself here, I'm not preaching it at you guys. I'm talking to myself as much as anything. Um, making sure that we take a stand when we see right and see wrong or say what needs to be said or do what needs to be done and don't leave it undone. This world will be a whole lot better off. And, um, you know, it made me start really thinking about gray. What is gray there? You know, that he's talking about. Um, gray, in my mind, is just confusion. You remember, I'll give you an example. You remember a few years ago when the uh, the picture of the the dress started circulating on the internet. Some people said it was pink. Some people said it was gray. Not too long after that, there was also a, um, a picture circulating of some sneakers. Some people said they had pink in them. Some people said they had gray. Um, just a whole lot of confusion. Nobody could seem to agree. That's what's going on in our world today is a whole lot of confusion. The gray areas are just confusion. And um, to be honest, why we left the leave the things unsaid and undone is because, I mean, just what he said, you know, they're, they're considered hateful or offensive or, um, you know, they're considered to be politically incorrect. But you know, Honestly, why would we do that? Why would we hold back on saying or doing what needs to be done and speaking up for what's right? Because we're afraid of offending somebody that we really don't want to be friends with or be connected with anyway. And honestly, if you lose a relationship, if you lose a job um, because you stood up for what's right, you probably didn't need to be there anyway. So, you know, I never thought I would live in a day where I um, would see so much pressure on the real men and real men, women of this world to conform and to compromise. Compromise can be a dangerous thing, especially when it's about important things. Um, you know, if there's a someone telling you that you have to believe a certain thing, act a certain way, accept their version of the truth or, uh, you know, get jabbed instead of, you know, maintaining uh, your livelihood or relationships. I, I don't really think that's right. And um, I don't really think I'm going to accept that. I think that it's time for the men and women of this world of not just the USA of the world to stand up and be real men and real women again. Not that we ever really lost it, but maybe we just kind of got backed into a corner. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not a fan of going out and burning down the cities like some groups do. I'm not a fan of getting up in people's faces because they believe differently than me. I still believe in the freedom. I believe in the freedom of speech. I believe in the freedom to live your life uh, the way that, that you choose to live it. Even if it's not what I would choose. But you know, there's some things that are just wrong and don't need to be tolerated. So, you know, as we're entering 2023, I just wanted to put this message out as a challenge to you all too. I wanted to encourage you to stand by what's right, to stand by your convictions. Don't let anybody bully you around. Because really that's what oftentimes people are trying to do um, when they try to make you feel um, in the spotlight or um, like a hateful person. They're just trying to bully you in a different way to be quiet or to come along with them. So, you know, the choice is ours. Let's get rid of the gray this year. 
let's have a whole lot of bright light and co colorful uh, experiences this year the right way you know um marty when he uh closed that devotion he he quoted a, a verse from ephesians that says wake up sleeper rise from the dead and christ will shine upon you you know i, I read that in my monotone voice but you know when that scripture was being written i really think it was meant to say you know wake up sleeper it's not just a, a call gently uh, like, you know, you, maybe your mama would do on uh, Saturday morning saying, wake up, honey. No, it said, wake up. It's time to wake up. It's time for us to stand for what we know to be right and stand against what we know to be wrong. And if enough of us common sense, salt of the earth people stand up, others will stand with us and we'll band together and we can make a difference. Maybe we can help someone else find a better way to live. Because, you know, where the gray is and where the confusion is, there's a whole lot of confused people. If you don't believe me, go to any city of any size and just take a walk. Turn on the news. Turn on the TV as far as that goes. Because, uh, you know, talking about things, he said that, that some things that should be, um, should turn our stomach actually uh, start becoming funny or just, you know, not really that big of a deal. And, you know, I go back to what I said before, what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. You know, when you can't let your child watch public TV because every other commercial or every other show that they may come on either has subtle little things trying to guide them into a different way of thinking or uh, try to desensitize them to different things so that we can just usher in this new world that people want to usher in. It's not okay. So, you know, this probably is not a, may not be a popular uh, point of view with some people. Some of you may even unsubscribe. So be it. Some of you may leave some, leave some comments that are uh, not so nice or don't reflect well on you. I can't control you. But what I can do is stand up for what I believe in, and I can encourage other like-minded people to band together as well. I don't need a government to tell me what to do or what's right and wrong. I don't need the popular opinion to tell me what's right and wrong. I mean, I've, I know my Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit communicates with me, resides in me. I, I know what's right and wrong, and I know um, when I should stand up stand against the evils of this world so you know this was kind of a, a heavy topic i'd love to hear what you guys are thinking i'd ask you to be responsible and be respectful of everyone that may leave some comments but um that's what's on my mind and that's how i'm looking to start 2023 is by being focused on eliminating a lot of the gray areas that i see in my world and in my life so until next time, I encourage you to seek the wisdom of our Lord and Savior. Be prepared. God bless. I'm the Bearded Prepper, signing off. Oh, and Happy New Year. God bless. <laughs>